In this question, it says that uh, three horses are tied, each with seven meter long rope on three corners of a triangular field and having the sides given as these. We have to find the area of the plot that can be grazed by these horses. So let's say if I first make a triangle here. So the triangle so made could be any triangle. Now I'm going to write its uh, dimensions, which is say 20 meter as this. Uh, and uh, say 42 and 34. So this is 34 meter and this is 42 meter. So now what you can see that the horse so tied here with a rope, let's say this be the rope, so it can graze a area around this in a circular, right? So it can move in a circular path. The area it can graze will has to be between these two, right? Between the park. So what I'm going to do is to make circle around it. And uh, the circle so made, are of equal radius. Right? So I'll take these circle as the first circle. Let's say I make uh, another circle over here and the third circle that I made is over here. And what we have to keep in mind that uh, the radius of the circle is same over here, which is seven. Now figure out the area which it can graze. It cannot graze the whole areas, right? Uh, as the grasses are present, so you can see that the area it can graze will be only these portions, right? Reason being, what you can see that uh, the grasses are present over here only, right? So it cannot graze the whole circle. Instead, it will graze these areas of these sectors club together. Now, what else we know? We know that radius is seven. So it's all seven. This is seven, this is seven, and this is seven. And I named this triangle as A, B, C over here. So what we are going to do is to apply the area of a sector. So the required area will be what? Area of three sectors, right? So first you should know that area of a sector is what? Theta over 360 multiplied by pi r square. So if I say, if I get the area of this sector, so you should say a theta, which is angle A here, divided by 360, that multiplied by pi r square. And then if I add the area of this to this, so a theta this time is b over 360 multiplied by pi r square. And likewise for this, the theta which is c here, c upon 360, that multiplied by pi r square. Now you can see that uh, by applying this formula, we can get the area of this whole. Next, what I'm going to do is to take uh, theta and 360 as common. That's very well, uh, can be seen from here, that is pi r square is common and even 360 is common. So if I take this as common, what do we get inside? We'll get this as A plus B, where A represents angle A, B represents angle B, and C, C represents angle C here. Now I'm going to do what is to replace this A plus B plus C. As you know that sum of three angles of a triangle is how much? 180 degree. So let's say if I write pi as pi r square that divided by 360 and replacing this a plus b plus c using angle sum which is 180 degree. This can be reduced by two times. So what we got the area here as area is equal to pi r square, right? Pi is how much? 22 by 7 that into r square and r is how much? 7, right? So 7 into 7. Right, radius is 7 and then there is a 1 by 2 also. So what you can see that 7 and 7 get cancelled 2 with 22, 11. So the required area will be 77. The unit is meter, so meter square. So now we can conclude that the, together all three horses will graze these areas. right? And the area that is this area plus this area plus this area will come out to be 77 meter square. In the next question, it says the circumference of the circle increases from 4 pi to 8 pi. And they are asking what will be the change in the area. That means the ratio of the area. So what we know that circumference of a circle C1 over C2 is given as 4 pi over 8 pi. Well, clearly they can be reduced. This is 1 times and 2 times. I'm replacing C1 with the formula of this circumference, which is what, 2 pi. So I took R1 as the radius of the first and R2 as the radius of the other. Now here too, I can uh, cancel this uh, 
2 pi 2 pi that gives us the ratio of the circle radii as 1 over 2. Now this is what I got so as to get the area and area is what say a1 over a2 as I took the area should be what it should be pi r1 square that divided by pi r2 square so pi also get cancelled here so a1 over a2 is what r1 over r2 whole square now what is r1 over r2 as 1 by 2 so this implies that a1 upon a2 should come as 1 over 2 whole square replacing this with 1 by 2 so 1 over 2 whole square that is 1 over 4 so that is 1 is to 4 well i see the option this is quadrupled right that is four times is what is the answer the next question says the length of a minute hand of a clock is six centimeter find the area swept by it when it moves from 5 25 pm to 6 pm so what we will do let's say if i make a, a clock over here just to understand the area swept by it and it is from the minute hand right let's say i took the minute hand as this being the minute hand right so the minute hand moves like this and from 525 so at 525 right the minute hand will be somewhere here right and at 6 at 6 it's going to be what this minute hand will go on and will be here right so what we have to find out is the area swept by this minute hand in this 25 minute no, 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 it's 525 to 6. That means we have to get the area of this, right? This portion. So let me check the area I'm talking about. So it's the area as this one. This is the area swept by the minute hand. Well, it's important to understand that uh, it is not from uh, 5 to 525. It is 525 to 6. But this can be done even when you do not draw the diagram. All you have to understand that... Uh, this minute hand, let's say, in one hour, if I talk about one hour, in one hour, it make, that is in 60 minutes, it makes an angle of 360 degree, right? That's what we have to keep in mind. So we can say that in 60 minute, in 60 minute, the theta, right? Theta is how much? 360 degree. So in one minute, in one minute, the theta is going to be how much? 360 over 60. So that is reduced by 6 times. So that means in one minute it makes an angle of 6 degree. And we are interested in how much? How much minute it is? As you can see from here, the 35 minute, right? From 525 to 6 pm. So we'll say that in 35 minute, the angle made by the minute hand will be how much? 6 multiplied by 35. So 6 into 5 is 30 and 6 into 3 is 81. So it's 2, 1, 210 degree. Now, we, why did I uh, find the theta here? As you know that uh, this is a sector and area of sector is what? Theta over 360 multiplied by pi r square. Now, theta as we have calculated as 210 divided by 360 and how much is pi? Not mentioned, so I'm going to take 22 over 7. The radius, the radius has to be whatever is the length of the minute hand, which is 6 here. So that is into 6 into 6. Uh, this can be reduced further. I can see that uh, this is divisible 7 1 times and 7 30 times. Zeros get cancelled. 6 into 6 is 36 get cancelled. So what we are left with, I think 3 is left over here and 22 is left here. So that is 66 and the unit is what? Centimeter, so it should be centimeter square. Let me cross check 7 into 3, 21, 0 get cancelled here. 6 into 6, 36. Yes, we are left with 3 and 6, 22, which is 66 centimeter square should be the answer. In the next question, he says in the given figure, the shape of the top of the table, that of his sector, right? As you can see, a sector with center O and the angle AOB, this angle is angle AOB and given as 90 degree. If OA is, OA is this, OA is how much? OA and OB are the radii, which is 42. 
this is 42 and so is this this is 42 centimeter now question here is is what we have to get is the perimeter of the top of the table so what we know perimeter is uh, what the boundary right so therefore we have to get the length of this plus this and as i move through it right we have to get this as well right okay so we can figure out from here that we actually need to get the length of this part right because we know the length of this too so we'll be get, getting the length of the major arc ab right so the major arc ab length is what we have to get first of all and once we get this we can find the perimeter so what we know the formula for the length of the arc so the length of the arc is what theta over 360 into 2 pi r now theta is the angle here and as you can see we are talking about the major arc so it has to be the reflex angle the reflex reflex angle this right this theta and this theta will be how much the theta is going to be 360 minus 90 degree so the theta comes out to be 270 degree so the length of the arc which is theta which is 270 over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r the value of pi is mentioned as how much 22 over 7 and the radius is what 42 now i can reduce this further these zeros get cancelled this is 9 3 times and 9 4 times so this get cancelled by 2 and this by 11 we have more things to reduce by 6 times I can see this is 6 into 3, 18, right? 18 into 18 into 11. So 18 into 11, that's 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 198. Right, so this was 66 into, now uh, that's what uh, we did. 18, yeah, 18 into 11. So it's 198 centimeter. But this is what? This is the length of the arc, right? What we as of now have got the length of the arc. So once we get the length of the arc, this is what the length of the arc, the perimeter is going to be what? As you can see from the figure, it should be 42 plus 42, that is two radius or the radii, 42 plus 42 plus 198. That should be the perimeter. So now <clears throat> it, uh, it is this plus this is how much? 140 and 42. 140 plus 42 is 182 centimeter. Now a centimeter that's yeah it's in centimeters so we'll say that this is what the perimeter of this top of the table